Hello everyone, my name is Amy Kubo and I'm so excited to be reading today's story to you all. Today's story centers around Japanese American children as they continue to send letters to their librarian throughout World War II. Hope you enjoy reading! Write to me. Letters from Japanese American children to the librarian they left behind. Written by Cynthia Grady and illustrated by Amiko Hirao. Catherine Tasaki returned a stack of books and turned in her library card. We've got to move soon, she said. All Japanese, you know. Miss Breed did know. The U.S. government thought Catherine and all people of Japanese heritage living on the West Coast could be dangerous. They looked like an enemy of the United States in a complicated war halfway around the world, so the government ordered that they be imprisoned. Miss Breed gave Catherine a stamped, addressed penny postcard in exchange for her library card. Write to us, Miss Breed said. We'll want to know where you are. At the train station, Miss Breed couldn't believe her eyes. Hundreds of families were tagged as if they were bundles of luggage. Soldiers with guns stood by. When the children saw their librarian, they ran to her with hugs and smiles as warm as the San Diego sun. Miss Breed gave away a bag full of books. She handed out more postcards. When you have the time, write to me. If you need anything, just write. The executive relocation order had come like a tidal wave, sweeping away everybody in the neighborhood. The library was a lonelier place. Then, one day, Miss Breed found a penny postcard in her mailbox. Like shells tumbling through the tide, more postcards arrived. Dear Miss Breed, thanks a million for coming down to the depot. Margaret Arakawa. Dear Miss Breed, thank you again for the book. I enjoyed the book very much. Sincerely yours, Mizue Himaka. Dear Miss Breed, we all miss the library very much. Sincerely, Shizue Kubo. The cards were postmarked from Arcadia, California. Now that Miss Breed knew where her friends were, she wrote every week. She sent boxes brimming with books and more stamped postcards. And the children wrote back. Dear Miss Breed, we live in a horse stable. Love, Anna. Dear Miss Breed, I was overwhelmed with joy to see the books when the postman opened the package for inspection. Thank you, Miss Breed. Thank you. Very sincerely yours, Louise Ogawa. Dear Miss Breed, We have one large shower and one large laundry room. We certainly don't see how they expect over 16,000 people to be clean and also have their clothes clean. Yours truly, Fusa. One weekend, Miss Breed boarded a train to Arcadia. The guards didn't let her hug the children or even shake their hands, but they talked, and Miss Breed gave them more books. Dear Miss Breed, I shall never forget that day you visited us. Yours very sincerely, Luis Ogawa. Thousands of people moved to San Diego for wartime jobs. New children trickled into the library. Miss Breed was no longer lonely, but she still missed her old friends. Miss Breed wanted people across the country to know about the treatment of Japanese Americans on the West Coast. She wrote magazine articles. She wrote letters asking for a library and school for the imprisoned children. Miss Breed scoured newspapers, listened to the radio, and attended rallies to learn more about the war. Every night, Miss Breed checked her mailbox. Her friends had been transferred from the holding center in Arcadia to a prison camp in Poston, 
Arizona. Dear Miss Breed, We are now in a strange place. I doubt whether this is even on the map. Bye. Jack Watanabe. Dear Miss Breed, Poston is so warm that I think of Little Black Samba when the tigers ran around the tree so fast that they made butter out of themselves. If this weather keeps up, the Japanese in Poston will be butter. It is 120 in the shade. Postonly yours, Margaret Ishimi. Dear Miss Breed, many people here has mumps and measles. Love, Elizabeth Kikuchi. The desert heat stunned them. Then came winter winds and rain. People got sick. Miss Breed sent seeds for planting, thread for sewing, and soap for washing. She sent pipe cleaners, crepe paper, pencils, and glue for making crafts. Dear Miss Breed, the corsages are for you and your mother. They were made by Miss Oe. The mum was made from lemon wrappers and crepe paper. Very truly yours, Tetsuzo. The youngest children wrote to Miss Breed about what they saw around them. Dear Miss Breed, I have a kitten now, and it's the sweetest thing. I found him in music class, where we had an awful time trying to hide him from our teacher. Love, Catherine. The older children wrote about their living conditions and how they spent their days. Dear Miss Breed, yes, the food shortage has affected us. We've had no butter or eggs for about two months. Most sincerely, Louise. They wrote about beauty. They wrote about fear. They all waited for peace. Dear Miss Breed, books made the day shorter and happier for us. Sincerely yours, Florence and Margaret Ishimi. Dear Miss Breed, I received your book the day after I came back from the hospital. It kept me from being lonesome. Truly yours, Elizabeth Kikuchi. Dear Miss Breed, Yesterday, I finished reading Lost Horizon. I was continually amazed by its similarity to this place called Poston. We really have a feeling of isolation here. This book would not have impressed me so strongly if I had read it a few years ago. Always, Fusa. Dear Miss Breed, when peace comes again to this world, I should like very much to see the salmon going upstream. After reading Son of the Smoky Sea, I want to go more than ever. Most sincerely, Margaret Ishimi. Finally, the war ended. As the Japanese Americans were released from each prison camp, they had to decide where to go. They no longer had homes to live in or farms to tend. Their shops, restaurants, and other businesses were gone. Some feared that they would not be welcomed back to their old neighborhoods. Some moved to other parts of the country for a fresh start. But others, like Catherine Tasaki, couldn't wait to come home home to San Diego, and to their librarian, home to their friend, Clara Breed. Dear Miss Breed, thank you ever so much for everything. Much love, Catherine. The End <laughs>